day. Let's go ahead and plug that into the calculator right here, which is going to be about $21 a day and Caspa. But if I was mining Caspa right now, I would not be cashing out. I would be holding because not financial advice, but Caspa could go to the moon. In today's video, we are going to mine Caspa, one of the most popular and most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine right now. So Caspa is one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine right now with your GPU. But did you know you can also use your ASIC miners like the Ant Miner S9, S19, or the L3, L7, even the mini Doge miners and earn Caspa? Not only that, but if you have old PCs and laptops, you can even turn those on and start mining with the CPU to stack even more Caspa. So we are gonna go over the current price as well as what is Caspa, and then I'm gonna show you how you can mine it on your CPU, your GPU, your ASIC miners, plus so much more. I'm your host, Tech Hustler. Oakley Doakley, hey, I'm down here today. Welcome to another video, and if it's your first time here, my name's Tech Hustler. We mine cryptocurrency here but we even go over some crypto projects and review websites and applications that you can start using right now to make a little bit of crypto on the side so if you like that go ahead and smash that subscribe button and while you're down there hit that like button too that's the number one thing you can do to support my channel and as always i have to let you know that i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. so caspa k-a-s on the ticker has been ripping and this might be a good time to get in early and even though those old laptops those old cpus that you have might not mine a lot of caspa it could be worth a lot in the near future so anyways as of the recording date of today's video which is march april 2nd 2023 the current price of caspa and that's k-a-s on the ticker is sitting at 0 0.038 cents currently up over seven and a half percent and over really just the last two weeks the last week alone we have been ripping sing sitting around from two cent all the way up to four cent we had a little bit of a pullback but that is expected you can see right here the all-time high was just nine hours ago that was 0 0.042 cent now as for exchanges it is available on a few i personally am using mech c that's where i'm going to be mining to so i will have a uh, a link in the description down below it will be a referral link so i might make a couple bucks so anyway is caspa very exciting what is it we're going to talk about that real quick but this might be a great opportunity to get in early now we're gonna quickly go over what caspa is literally here on caspa.org we're gonna go over the first paragraph but i will have this linked in the description down below but if you ask me caspa is gonna be the next ethereum at least from a miner's perspective it is a very exciting new proof of work cryptocurrency so caspa is the fastest open source decentralized and fully scalable layer one in the world the world's first block dag a digital ledger enabling parallel blocks and instant transaction confirmation built on a robust proof of work engine with rapid single second block intervals built by industry pioneers led by the people and yes here we are <laughs> you already know this is my favorite mining software unminable.com with unminable you can mine with your cpu on older laptops older uh, pcs you can mine on your gaming rigs gpu and the cpu at the same time you can mine on GPU mining rigs. You can mine on ASIC miners like SHA-256 and Script, plus so much more. Not only that, but you can get paid out in like over 70 
different cryptocurrencies and today they have caspa this is brand new i'm going to show you how to use unminable we're going to go over some profitability with the asic miners and we're going to start mining right here on my cpu maybe my gpu at the same time i don't know um it depends if it's going to affect my recording quality but anyways let's go ahead let's dive into caspa all right so we clicked on caspa but before we download the miner and start mining here on my PC, I want to go over ASIC mining and maybe some of the GPUs and look at profitability. So like I said earlier, with Unminable, you can use your ASIC miners that use the script Equihash or SHA-256 algorithm. And to give you an example of, let's say, the script algorithm, that's going to be maybe your mini Doge miner your amp miner l7 or even your amp miner l3 plus that's probably going to be your cheapest option right there at 274 dollars now that's 504 mega hash unminable has this little calculator right here so let's go ahead and put in 504 mega hash so we're going to get around 29 casts a day with the amp miner l3 let's go ahead and go into the converter right here so 29 casts a day, that's gonna be about $1.15 with the L3. Now let's bump it up a notch to the L7, which gets 9.05 giga hash. One more time, let's go to the calculator and let's put in 9.0550. One more time. And that's going to get us 530 casts a day. Let's go ahead and plug that into the calculator right here. Which is going to be about $21 a day in Caspa. But if I was mining Caspa right now, I would not be cashing out. I would be holding because not financial advice, but Caspa could go to the moon. And then of course we have SHA-256, which is the algorithm to mine Bitcoin. Now, right here, you can use your Antminer S9s. This is probably the cheapest bet right here for $120. I personally have bought one, as you can see right here. And then of course, there is the S19 series as well, which costs a little bit more, but it is much more profitable and much more efficient. And we already know we can mine with GPUs, three gigabyte as well as six gigabyte and CPUs, which we're gonna be doing in today's video. So if you're gonna be using Windows to mine, and this will go for CPU mining, this will go for GPU mining, or if you wanna use your GPU mining rig, it doesn't matter if you're gonna use it on Windows, you're going to run into some security blocks. Now, I'm mainly talking to the new people. If you've been mining for a while, then you already know, but whenever you try to download a miner on Windows, it's gonna say it is a virus or it is a threat and it's not gonna allow you to download. So we're gonna go over three steps that you're gonna need to do to open up some of the security settings, allow you to download this, but you need to remember your PC, your uh, laptop, whatever it may be, is gonna be very vulnerable at this time for threats and viruses. So as soon as we download Unminable, we need to go back and reverse those settings so we can stay protected. You got it? All right, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is create a security exclusion file to download Unminable 2. So let's go into our Windows security settings, virus and threat protection, manage settings, scroll down here and add or remove exclusions. I'm gonna add an exclusion. We're gonna add a folder. And you can see right there, I already added the Unminable folder, but all you're gonna do is go to new, folder and then you can name it unminable like i did right here but let me go ahead and delete that one so here is my exclusion folder it's already titled unminable let me go ahead and select that bada bing bada boom there it is right there so that's where we are going to download unminable now on to the next step 
So for the next step, we're gonna change some security settings in our browser. I'm currently using Brave, but you can follow the same steps for Chrome. Now, when we are done, after we download the miner, it is very important that we reverse these steps. So we're gonna go into the browser settings, and then we're gonna go into the security settings. We're gonna scroll down here to security, now we're gonna go from standard protection to no protection at all. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off protection. And like I said, I cannot reiterate this enough. After we download Unminable, we need to go back to standard protection. And we're gonna to have to do this for step three as well. Now for the last step, it's gonna be very similar to this, except we're gonna go into Windows and turn off all threat protection. And once again, just like this, it's gonna be very important to reverse those settings when we are done. So I'm gonna go right here into Windows Security. We're gonna go into Virus and Threat Protection, Manage Settings, and then here it is right here. We're gonna turn Real-Time Protection off once again this is going to leave us vulnerable for threats and viruses so as soon as we are done downloading unminable we are going to turn this back on but let's go ahead and turn it off right now so we can get this show on the road and there it is all protection is off we can see right there virus and threat protection please turn on virus protection we will in a second i think we have everything ready so let's go ahead let's download unminable and let's start stacking up some caspa and here we are back on unminable.com now they make downloading their miner super easy all you have to do is go right here to get started and this is the miner you want right here the mfi version this is going to have everything so whether you want to mine with your cpu gpu your gaming rig your gpu mining rig or your cpu and gpu you just download this version right here and that's what we're going to do right now we're going to download we're going to unzip and then we're gonna start mining success bada bing bada boom here we go let's go ahead and finish it up miner is downloaded let me clean some stuff up and we'll be right back you know what before we start mining and getting excited and forget let's go ahead let's reverse some of those security settings that way we won't have to worry about doing it later and this is as simple as it is right here let's go back to standard protection right there in the browser and we're going to go back to windows security settings back to that virus and threat protection and yes right here let's go ahead and turn that back on and there we go now we are safe to do whatever we want to do on the internet let's go ahead and start mining that cast so our security is back up and we have successfully downloaded the unminable miner the last thing we have to do is right here is get that dark mode now let's click continue this is where you're going to pick whether you want to mine on your cpu or your graphics card if you want to mine on both all you have to do is download another version of unminable and then you're going to click cpu for one and gpu for the other now to make things easy for today i don't want to have any audio or visual problems we're going to go with cpu mining so let's go ahead and click next now this is where you're going to pick whichever cryptocurrency you want to get paid out in remember unminable has over 70 different cryptocurrencies right now i think caspa is the best bet because this is your chance to get in early so let's go ahead and click that right there let's delete this old address and paste in my new one now all you have to do is click start so we are up and mining you can see right here right around 2,000 hashes 
Now, right here on the dashboard, you're going to have your balance. I'd say maybe after about 15 or 20 minutes, we should see some balance right here. Now, right here is my Caspa address. We can click this and it's going to take us to Unminable and it's going to show you all of your statistics. Once again, this might take 15 to 20 minutes. Now, right here, you can see we are getting paid out in Caspa and we are using the Caspa network payouts start out at 50 caspa and once again we are mining on the algorithm random x and we're going to get paid out in that's right caspa now the miner is set at high intensity and this is my miner name right here and i'm going to show you how to change both of these right now within the settings so we are mining on high we can turn it down to low or we can create some custom settings we can also name our miner right here this is going to be very important when you have those multiple laptops and multiple pcs make sure to specifically name each miner now if you have a referral code for unminable please let me know in the comments down below and i will start using it and if you want to use mine i'll post it somewhere up right here oakley doakley so that's pretty much going to do it for caspa and unminable remember if you want to check out your statistics all you have to do is click this right here and it's going to take you to unminable one more time it is going to take a few minutes for things to show up you can see we finally have some hash rate right now and hopefully here in a few more minutes we should see a little bit of caspa in the tank now if you want all you have to do is go to unminable and you can enter in your address right there you can do this from any pc any laptop from your phone and you can check out the stats right there as well and that's pretty much going to do it for today's video as well if you are interested in caspa i highly recommend you hit that bell because there's going to be more uploads there is a few caspa miners that are hitting the market and i am trying my best to get one here for an unboxing and review so as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name's tech hustler happy mining Peace.